How can we connect to back-end services within ODA? That's what I will explain in this video. Digital assistants, including those used for FAQ, typically connect to a back-end to access business or data services. For example, if a user asks who is the president of the USA, the digital assistant must connect to a back-end to retrieve the current president's name. In Oracle Digital Assistant, developer access to back-end services is through REST services, but can also leverage OIC, ORDS, and others. This allows for seamless integration with a variety of back-end systems and data sources. Let's explore the available options when it comes to back-end integration. The first, and probably the easiest approach, is the REST component. You can configure the REST component declaratively with all the configuration and authentication options available on the UI screen. This component is built in, so you don't have to write any code for it, and whatever the REST service returns, it will be saved in a variable. In the dialog flow, you would add the component wherever it makes sense to make a REST call, either to read, write, or perform any other operations. This allows us to call REST services directly from within the dialog flow in a no-code solution, ideal for simple and single backend calls. Then we have the custom component, which is something that you develop using Node.js and for which there is an SDK provided. You develop it in an external IDE and then you have a choice of deployment from an embedded deployment in ODA to an external deployment with OCI functions or Kubernetes. You would use this type of integration if a REST call requires post-processing on the response or a follow-up REST call or needs an OCI integration. The Entity Event Handler is a custom component that is involved or consulted in the process of resolving a composite back entity. Entity Event Handlers are not only used for back-end integration, but they can be used for that effect as well. With this approach, we are able to reach out to back-end services during entity resolution while keeping within the same dialog flow state. This can be extremely powerful for those cases where we need to validate or enhance bag items in real time. Check out our video about entity event handlers for more information. And finally, we have a wide variety of possibilities for integration with other external systems, such as databases by using the SQL dialog. CX applications for human agent transfer, knowledge search, intelligent advisor, web use, and many more. All of these options give us all the flexibility in integrating ODA with external systems. This is just a high-level overview of the available options. In the upcoming videos, we will explore some of these more in detail. For more information, please ask our assistant RT. You can find the links in the description.